Did you know that globally, over 500 million women experience period poverty every month? Did you also know that approximately 1.2 billion women do not have access to sanitary products? UNICEF reports that in Africa, 1 in 10 girls miss school during their periods due to lack of access to sanitary pads and tampons. In Nigeria, the problem of period poverty is still on the increase on a daily basis. More than 44% of our population live below $2 per day. Can you imagine what happens when a girl, child or woman misses out on important activities simply because she cannot afford sanitary pads during her period? especially when she has all the very pressing needs such as food, clothing, education, and so on to contend with. Also, the ever-increasing exchange rates, which increases the cost of sanitary pad and literally takes it out of the reach of the poor. This phenomenon is called period poverty. From our need assessment, we met with Kabira. Menstruation used to flow a lot and Without making use of the pad, I'll be feeling uncomfortable. For me, you know, as in using the last card to buy food, I rather use the last card for the sanitary pad. This is a typical manifestation of the extent at which period poverty is affecting millions of women and girls in our community. According to National Geographic, the conventional sanitary pad contains about 90% plastic which takes over 400 to 800 years to decompose. Close to 8 billion sanitary pads are used and dumped in our landfills every year. This means over 200,000 tons of menstrual waste are generated annually. Can you imagine having all of those non-biodegradable pads sitting in our landfills, soils and oceans? Today, we will take you on a journey of how we've addressed the problem of period poverty plastic pollution and deforestation through the innovative use of agricultural waste, banana fiber. Banana plants mature between 9 to 12 months. Once these plants are fruited, they die and become a waste. Nigeria has about 500 hectares of banana farms, generating 2.8 trillion tons of agricultural waste annually. Utilizing this waste, we created two social enterprises PayPal and Fiban. We begin with our first social enterprise, PayPal Sanitary Pad. PayPal is changing the narrative of how sanitary pads are being produced by making them affordable, biodegradable, and plastic free. Take the case of Kabira, who was seriously faced with the pains and reality of period poverty. She discovered PayPal, a cheaper alternative that helped her solve her three major problems of cost, hygiene, and comfort. The initial challenge faced by Kabirat is similar to that of millions of women and girls in low-income earning families globally. In Nigeria, 3 in 10 girls do not have access to sanitary pads due to its high cost. Out of necessity, they resort to unhygienic alternatives such as newspapers and leaves, which causes reproductive health challenges. So today, we we'll share with you how to share ingenuity, we took entrepreneurial action and successfully solved an economic problem while also addressing a critical environmental challenge. Our PayPal sanitary pads are innovatively produced through this process. First, banana stem waste are collected from the farm. They are then shredded into tiny pieces and placed on a clean surface. Afterwards, the stem is processed to extract fiber. The extracted fiber is then washed, boiled and made into a pulp before being placed on a mesh to be sun-dried. In the absence of sun, we make use of our innovative dryer. This then resolves into a plain sheet, which serves as the absorbent layer for our PayPal sanitary pads. Although cumbersome, this manual production process proved successful and paved the way for Atom to receive an award of ingenuity of over 1,000 US dollars from BIC Global. This grant enabled us to fabricate a banana fiber extractor which increased our production output by 75% in just three months as compared to our manual output of 18%. Our disposable pad is sold for 75 cents, which is 45% lesser compared to the conventional sanitary pad. After we successfully made our disposable pad, 
we realize that some of these ladies still couldn't afford this part on a monthly basis. In order to meet the menstrual needs of women and girls, our research and development team designed a reusable pad that is jointly approved by UNICEF and World Health Organization. A pack of this reusable pad contains three units, which is sold for 32 cents and which can be used over a period of six months. As part of our marketing strategy, we organize menstrual hygiene training in 80 schools, educating over 40,000 girls on menstrual hygiene management. And for the sustainability of our period education, we partner with the Ministry of Education. To... Uh, I'm Professor Abaya Mariba, the Honorable Commissioner for Education Science and Technology in Open State. And my office is working in Aftos Castle to build a business empire. Whereby we will eradicate uh, period poverty and uh, lack of period of education in Nigeria and indeed in the entire Africa. Design a menstrual hygiene model, established menstrual clubs in schools, and also distributed over 2,000 copies of these menstrual hygiene models to girls. For quality assurance, our sanitary pad was tested for bacteria count detention and after exceeding all quality standards, our sanitary pad was approved by the Ministry of Health. We were approached by various organizations such as the Nigeria Economic Summit Group and part of a GET initiative who signed a contract with us to produce over 6,000 sanitary pads that will be distributed across Nigeria, enabling us to generate over $10,000. We centered our distribution channel across petty traders, retail stores, profit and non-profit organizations. In all, a total of 77 retail stores and organizations sold people sanitary parts in 20 communities across five states in Nigeria. We have also set up a store on Jumia, the largest e-commerce platform in Nigeria, where people can directly order our parts and get it delivered to them at their doorstep. Within four months, we have produced and sold over 7,000 cans of pea power sanitary parts, generating over $12,000. And in the next two years, we will set up eight production of across northern and eastern region of Nigeria that would produce over 330 parts of pea power sanitary parts, employing over 600 individuals with a total turnover exceeding 370,000 US dollars. We are also expanding our impact to Gambia, where we'll set up two production of that will employ over 30 individuals with an annual turnover exceeding $94,000. And in plenty inside, and not the other product where we say you go buy. Eh? If you use them one or two times, you go finish. Like this one, if you use them two, you go as well finish. With our innovative solution, we have successfully empowered over 100 women and traders in rural communities, making them earn an additional income of over $300 monthly. What you've heard so far is just the beginning. The beginning of how we rapidly innovated to solve global challenges. As second social enterprise, Fiban, we innovatively address the problem of plastic pollution, deforestation, and the ever-growing need for sustainable packaging bags. Yearly, yeah. over 5 million plastic bags are produced. These bags are made from no-density polyethylene, which is not recyclable, and often end up in a large seas and ocean, resulting in an increase in plastic pollution. The regular paper bags are made from wood pulp. In producing them, Thousands of trees are cut down, thereby leading to massive deforestation. So, our team decided to address the problem of plastic pollution and deforestation by creating an environmentally friendly and biodegradable packaging bags. Considering customer preference, our bag comes in different shapes, sizes, and colors. We began sale through 20 channels such as supermarkets, restaurants, online and offline stores, and local events. Receiving attention from national and global bodies, Fiban recently signed a partnership deal with the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Environment in order to ensure seamless supply of our raw materials. In less than 22 weeks, we produced over 10,000 units of our bags distributed across three states, enabling us to generate over 4,000 US dollars. To create awareness about Fiban, we staged a petition against the use of plastic 
recording a turnout of over 5,000 signatures. This petition helped us to reduce the use of plastic on our campus by 50%. We employed 30 youths and saved our oceans over 10,000 plastic waste. We also reduced the impact of deforestation by 30% in Ogun State, Nigeria, thereby creating a sustainable environment for us all. In the next two years, we will produce over 60,000 bags with a turnout of over 25,000 US dollars. This has been our story of impact, growth, empowerment, entrepreneurship, our journey as a world of perseverance, challenges, and innovation. But aside this, our impact is enormous. This year, with over 130,000 volunteer hours, we directly impacted the lives of over 60,000 individuals. We created four new businesses and 65 new job opportunities, upcycled over 7,000 banana stems, reduced greenhouse gas emissions by 7%, and generated a revenue of $27,000. We increased the income of 70 workers across 20 communities, boosted class attendance for the girl child, restoring their dreams of becoming doctors, lawyers, and engineers. We eradicated 25 tons of plastic. Also, we received global recognition as our project was listed as one of the top 48 projects, saving our world in the enacted global race to retain plastic. By the end of the year 2026, with fiber and PayPal, we would have generated a revenue of over 1.5 million US dollars. Through our innovation, we advanced 10 SDGs. At NACA's passes, when we talk about changing the world, anyone and everyone can have a go at it.